Next six months is to make sure that the components of an information security program are aligned. The people, processes, and technology. We want to make sure that the people are trained and aware of the threat vectors that are out there and have the skills to handle um, potential contacts uh, from threats. Uh, processes to ensure the processes are current, uh, that we have a good handle on how incidents are going to be handled, uh, and technology to make sure that the technology uh, reflects uh, controls that will deal with um, the active threat environment. Idaho does have an open government policy um, that is ingrained uh, not only with every state employee but passed down from the governor's office as well as through the legislature. However, we do have a requirement to protect people's uh, privacy, uh, private information, sensitive health data, uh, employment records, uh, education records. Um, so what we have to do is we have to balance that out with our federal requirements, our industry requirements, and our state initiative. It's a balancing act, but we're continuously working to do that. It's a process, not an event. Well, last word I got uh, from the industry, uh, there's approximately 400 international cyber gangs out there trying to uh, breach um, information systems to uh, get everything from um, social security numbers to health records. Um, th the biggest threat out there is just that there's such a large volume of actors that are trying to uh, penetrate into the network. So we have to take a holistic approach. As I mentioned before, we have to make sure our people, our users are properly trained, that we have adequate policies in place, and the technology reflects um, controls to uh, mitigate the threat vectors that are out there. So it's a sheer volume of uh, threat actors, that's what we have to worry with. But we have to be forward thinking. Uh, the cyber attacks that uh, we've seen in the past, they are current threats, but we have to keep looking beyond that. We have to look at uh, what is on the horizon, uh, what type of uh, malware is uh, coming out of the wild that we need to uh, protect against. So you have to be forward thinking. You have to constantly be searching for new processes, new products uh, to uh, mitigate a lot of those threats. When you're dealing with a state government, especially a state like Idaho, uh, you, you have to be very uh, cautious on how you spend the money. Um, we don't have a lot of money to spend. So we have to try to stretch it as far as we can. Uh, we try to incorporate open source software that's safe. We try to uh, collaborate with what other state agencies have done to try to incorporate um, their solutions so we don't have to keep re-engineering every effort. So we stretch it as best we can, but the state budgets are a challenge. Um, but we do try to reuse a lot of solutions that are out there. The threat environment keeps growing. Um, there's a lot of uh, not only cyber gangs, but there's also uh, nation states that are involved in everything from uh, espionage, from uh, trade secrets to trying to uh, gather personal information. Uh, a lot, we have to secure a lot more devices out there. With the Internet of Things, everything that seems to be produced now can connect and exchange information. So we have to be aware of when we connect smart TVs up to the network. We have to be aware of uh, machines talking to machines. So it's not only dealing with how the users interact, what uh, potential threats are out there from the cyber gangs or nation states, but how these machines interoperate and how we can protect data from uh, being exfiltrated out of our network.